Hey everybody, it's me. So, odd development, um, <coughs> I ended up getting, or having, pneumonia. So I am not allowed to come back to work um, until earliest tomorrow, perhaps not Monday. So I know this is probably a nice break for you, but totally not ideal for me and killing me because I had some really cool lessons planned this week that we're not getting to do. Today I do have a skills builder for you um, that is important for you to do. We aren't going to do it the way that I had originally designed it because I haven't been able to teach you <coughs> sorry, <coughs> what I wanted to teach you yet, but I know you can handle this part of it. Um, and I do expect that you will do it and you will learn from it. Um, it does touch on the first part of our um, learning target. So I can identify supporting details which prove a given conclusion. What it is supposed to ask you also to do is to create a prioritized list. But I don't feel like that's fair to ask you to do without really teaching you that. Um, and so if I am there tomorrow, that's what we'll focus on. And if I'm not there tomorrow, I'll make you a video to help you with that. So um, this first part, though, needs to be done today. So I'm not looking that hot, so let's lose that. And so in today's agenda, you will see a link that says Skills Builder, page 121 through 140. That's what you, it's part of, the first part of what you read the other day. Um, so everything there will be familiar to you, but now you're going to use that. Now, in the directions, it says that you're going to do this with a partner. Um, <coughs> that is not true for today's work. Um, I want you to do it on your own because of the fact that we're not prioritizing details yet. Now, again, like I said, it, we may do that tomorrow, um, but for today, you're gonna skip the prioritizing part and you are just going to choose your details. So this is quite simple if you've done the reading. If you haven't done the reading, it's gonna force you to do the reading. If you have done the reading, then it's just going to have you recall some of what you read. So, um, the first thing that you need to notice is that it gives you a set of page numbers. So you're going to go to those pages in the text. Um, and then you're looking at the given conclusion, right? So sci-fi believes he's more intelligent than Lev and he wants Lev to know it. So then your job is to find three, one, two, three, right? Quotes from the book. So actual things that get said in the book that prove this. So you're not making sentences up on your own. You're copying sentences from the book. You're putting quotes around them so we know that that's where they came from. So you're finding things maybe that characters say or maybe just it's just sentences that are narration. They don't necessarily have to be like dialogue quotes um, but they do need to be directly taken from the text. So the first conclusion you're going to prove is that sci-fi believes he's more intelligent than Lev and he wants Lev to know it. Then you're going to switch to this next set of pages, 124 to 127. Because of how Lev was raised, he's more sheltered and has less knowledge of the world than sci-fi. 128 to 130, Lev is haunted by both good and bad memories of the past, and even though he wants to move on, he can't completely forget his past. 131 to 133, the closer sci-fi gets to his destination, Joplin, the more he seems to become a different person with different morals and behaviors. The next set... It now seems that sci-fi is literally made up of two different people that are in conflict with one another. And then 137 through 140, while the brain transplant when he was younger saved sci-fi's life, there were unintended consequences. So I'll make you a deal. There are six conclusions there. <coughs> Let's say that if you fill out um, all three details on four of them, I will consider this complete. So... Um, you can pick and choose. If there's something you want to skip, you can, but you need sets of three details on at least four of those before you can consider yourself done today. Okay? Um, again, this is reviewing the reading that you were already assigned to do, um, either yesterday or on Tuesday, and you are working on that goal that we are, are working towards, which, um, is that you can, it's posted here, right? You can identify supporting details which prove a given conclusion. Again, if you want to try to prioritize them, if you want to say like which detail, which of your three details best supports the conclusion, I think that would be awesome. 
um, but you do not need to do that yet. Also, I'm on the wrong day. There's our, there's what you'll be seeing tomorrow in addition to this video. Okay. Um, thanks for your understanding and I will see you either tomorrow or on Monday. Have a good one.